Hello guys and welcome to Aero Tutorials. In this video I'm going to show you how to stream your Android screen. So using this method you can broadcast your mobiles or tablet screen to almost any other device that's connected to the same Wi-Fi network or you can stream to sites such as Twitch.tv or Justin.tv or several other streaming services. So let's start. First of all grab your tablet or mobile, open up your Play Store and search for Screen Stream. So open up this screen stream trial app. It's free and it has all the functions that the paid app has. So the only limit is that your stream can't be longer than three minutes. So you can either download that app or you can download actually to buy the screen stream app from Google Play. But if you can't buy like I can because the Google payments are not available in my country, you can download the black marked app that uh, I'll give the APK file in the description box and there you can search for screen stream and download the apps. So here the only problem is that the apps and black market are not the late are not with the latest updates. So in, in this app you won't have this function stream to uh, these uh, sites just as I said before. Okay, so, okay, just one more thing. To be able to run Black Mart or any other app from that, you have to go to your settings, security, and check these unknown sources. So, after you have done all of this, you can go and find and open your screen stream app. And you should get this, this notification. And one more if you are not rooted, like my tablet is, isn't. So, if your device is rooted, you can fast forward the video. If it isn't, just stick with me. So, we want to get, we will get rid of this note. Okay, so first of all, go again to your settings and scroll to the bottom to the developer options. Open up and check here USB debugging. And please note that. Uh, from starting from Android 4.2, developer options are hidden by default. So you have to go here to About Tablet section and click on the build number for seven times. As you see, I'm already so to call developer. Okay, so after you have done that, uh, you need the USB cable and you need a PC to continue the procedure. Okay, so let's now connect our device to the PC with a USB cable. And if you're on Windows, make sure that you have the latest drivers installed. So after you have done that, then open up your internet browser and go to... Okay, so it's now connected. And download this... Uh, go to this link. I'll have the link placed in the description box. Okay, and on the, here download this uh, archive. That's for your operating system. So this works on Linux, Mac and also on Windows. Okay, so I have already down downloaded it, extracted. So open up that folder and uh, then if your device is recognized by, com by your PC, just start the here this service. Okay, so it's... We have to wait a little bit. Okay, it's so now in my tablet the application was started. Now you can disconnect the device from a PC and note that you can have to do this procedure with connecting and all of that only if you restart your device again. So if not, this will work fine. Then on your tablet or mobile, click on this big play button and you have that your streaming is currently playing. Well, to display it, you'll need a, a media player that supports RTSP streams. So I'm using VLC media player because I really like it. Okay, so if you haven't seen, go to this stream tab and this network, and then here enter this uh, address. You'll have it also on your uh, mobile screen, and then after you have enter it, please check it and click here play and if we've done everything correct we should 
see the stream here okay so as here, here here's the stream okay maybe the quality is not the best and but you can go to the settings and play with these video frame rates resolutions and others and find what's the best for your uh, phone okay one more thing if you want uh, to stream to other Android device I recommend downloading this uh, MX player and uh, there again you have this network stream and you can enter the stream that you want so that's it guys thanks for watching if you have any questions you can ask me in the comments below and i'll do my best to answer them all so see you guys